That was weird. It looked like an eye in there. Yes, I would. Not exactly a confession. I haven't yet done the deed. I'm here for you, Mark. Is it possible for me to know a woman in the biblical sense? Are we talking about sexual intercourse? I think so. Outside marriage. My penis speaks to me, Father Brendan. His therapist suggested I could work with a sex surrogate who would be sensitive to my unusual needs. In my heart, I feel like he'll give you a free pass on this one. Go for it. Yeah, maybe. Yes, he's good. Hi, Mark O'Brien. Your buddy's on the desk over there. Yes, it is. That was the wrong way to start off. It really was. Shall we start again? Please. I'm not a prostitute. You don't have to pay me up front. And there's a limit to the number of sessions we can have. The limit is six. Shall we get undressed? Sure. Oh, well, it's too late. What for? What kind of therapist is she? She's a sex therapist. Today they're working on simultaneous orgasm. What's that? I don't know what she says. <laughs> Okay, so that movie was called, well, the way that I remember it, it was called In Session. In Session. And it starred Helen Hunt and, let's see, William H. Macy, who has just the kindest eyes I think I've ever seen. I mean, he may not look exactly like Brad Pitt, but geez, those eyes. <laughs> He just has the most kind and compassionate eyes. Okay, I'll get off William H. Macy's eyes. But regardless, this was so weird because I saw this movie like about back in 2012 when it first came out. And I always had remembered it being called In Session because you were in session. It was private, that kind of thing. And instead, I come to find out because I looked it up a few months ago that it was called The Sessions. And at first I didn't think anything of it because I thought, well, you know, maybe I just remembered it wrong. I mean, I can't get the lead actor's name correct. I always want to call him John Hawks versus John Hawks. His name is actually The Sessions. Let's see. The Sessions. So... Let me get it right, because I can never remember. And I know John Hawks. See, he stars in it as the guy who has polio and wants to lose his virginity. And Helen Hunt is a sex therapist. And his name has always been John Hawks, but I always thought of it, I always want to call him John Hawk. So I know that I always made that differentiation in my mind. Like, I know that always confused me. But the movie itself, I always thought was in session. But... I never really made any kind of YouTube video about it because I thought, well, I don't really have proof and maybe I got it confused with the TV series In Session. In Session TV show, which I come to find out, and I actually looked this all up a couple months ago um, because I was so confused about why I remember this movie being called In Session, which it wasn't, it was called The Sessions. So I looked it up a few months ago and I was like, oh, the TV series was called In Session. But even now, the TV series was not called In Session. I'm thinking of the TV series, of course, starring Gabriel Byrne. It was called In Treatment. So I don't know what I was confusing In Session with, but it turns out I don't think I was confusing it with anything because I think it is an actual Mandela effect. This is a Facebook post that I made October 9th, 2012. Facebook memories are very useful things for uh, reality residue. 
and the caption reads and of course this is the this is the panel discussion after the movie the caption reads q a session with william h macy helen hunt and jaha jaha hawk and it's john hawks but again i always had trouble with that last name so i'm not thinking that that's a mandela effect at lacma after the film in session amazing touching well not they're touching each other but it was emotionally touching and blew me away when i wasn't crying i was laughing and vice versa should definitely get nominated for an academy award in my opinion which it didn't it was a very small film i much prefer the small indie films thought provoking but regardless this was just so weird to me because i finally found my reality residue on this and it was weird it's kind of like the robin williams film the cutter versus the final cut and again, you know that guy gets my goat, if any of you have watched that. It's just like the final cut. Ugh, I don't even know if I want to get into it again, but in the movie The Cutter, the way that I remember it, Robin Williams, the movie poster is, he's sitting at a desk looking like he's looking down at something and cutting it. And in this new version of the movie, The Final Cut, it looks like he's a cop running away from somebody with a gun and it looks like an action adventure movie and it's called the final cut when in reality this robin williams movie called originally the cutter in the last universe um encompassed him taking a ch microchip that was in people's brains and making cuts of it as a short film for their memorial service and all the key and best parts anyway so this supposed Mandela effect for me reminds me of that in session the sessions um, and I'm very particular about movie titles as well and I remember seeing the movie title many times that night so because it was one of those nights where all the stars show up and you watch the movie but in any case let me know you guys if you remember this film and if you remember it being called in session because then naked they gotta be in session there's gotta be a sign on the door saying in session that's another thing but just remind me i mean tell me what you think if you remember this film being named something differently and that's about all peace out